Hi guys and welcome to Brave Dog Training Online's Women Power. Have you ever felt like you're always doing exactly the same with your dog and it kind of gets boring? And also sometimes you would wish for that magic solution to come your way, but it just doesn't. Today we're going to talk about creativity in dog training. Why we need it, how we can get it and What's it all about? So have fun. All right, so let's start with why do we need creativity in dog training? It's not like we are the first persons to train a dog, right? It has been done a gazillion times and it's just this protocol we have to follow and we have to teach our dogs to I don't know do XYZ like do a sit and do a heel and do a loose leash walking and stay home alone and go in a crate and whatever so why do we need creativity well first of all not every dog needs every normal thing we hear out there so for example I have never used a closed crate with my dogs or with my clients' dogs. Even though it's something very common to do, I don't do it because none of them needs it and it's forbidden in my country. So this is something when I decide I don't want to use that, but I have a puppy client and the puppy is not house trained yet, I need to get creative because if I don't want to do the thing that has been done all the time, I want to do it differently, I have to be a little bit creative. Also, when I have a dog who is not as easily motivated or doesn't have any experience in working together with me, like for her, for example, she was terrified of her harness or anything you put on her. So a collar was absolutely impossible, collar is impossible still a harness isn't we have trained that but i would usually go at it with a bunch of treats and just reward her for coming closer to the harness and interacting with it and then start putting it on in a very non-confrontational way with her as soon as she has the feeling that somebody wants to lure her to something or somebody wants to put something on her, it's over for her. She's gone <laughs> or she was gone. So what I did was she left snugglies. So I just got on the sofa. I took the harness with me everywhere in the house so she wouldn't get freaked out when she sees it. And I sat down on the sofa. The harness was somewhere in my range. <laughs> And she came to me and she sat on my lap like she just loves to do. And the harness was there and I didn't do anything in the beginning. And then I started to introduce the harness in our snuggle sessions and it worked perfectly. I worked perfectly because we were a little bit creative. Also, if I want to show my dog, my puppy, the world if i have a dog who isn't like very well socialized yet or hasn't had any good experiences yet i want my dog to experience life in a positive way and that means something different for every single dog so some dogs like to goof around some dogs like to just interact with people some dogs just like to explore and sniff and do all those things some dogs like to do search games and any Thing that includes treats and that's again something when I'm creative I can just try things out and see what happens see what fits for my dog and that way I can also include distractions and new environments like if I can picture what I want my puppy to experience in life later on I can put that on a list and with that list, I know exactly what I have to do with my puppy. 
I actually do that with my clients and they get example lists from me but I also want them to get creative and think about what they love to do in their lives and what they want their dogs to accompany them on or do together or whatever and put that on a list and then we just introduce the puppy to one thing at a time and that's not only a good idea for puppies also for adult dogs who haven't experienced those things so again what we had is on one hand we can use creativity to find out new ways to motivate our dogs to reward our dogs new ways to socialize our dogs distractions we can include in our training and sometimes when we for example live with a reactive dog or a fearful dog we need creativity in day-to-day -day life because for example I don't want my reactive dog to be reactive every single day I want breaks in between and for that I need to be creative and find routes or times or places where I can take my reactive dog and just have fun together right so sometimes it's a little tricky to get creative on your own that's again where working with a trainer helps extremely together it's much easier to talk about it is the first step and then together we can find out so many new things and it's so fun to do it so why don't you write me in the comments what was the most creative thing you have ever done with your dog <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe if you have seen anything that helps you with your dog let me know i would love to know those things and i would love to read about your story with your dog your struggles your wins and that's why I'd like to encourage you to share. Have a lot of fun being creative with your dog. And maybe you find an awesome game with your dog that feels totally creative and you want to share that with me. I would absolutely love you for doing that. Until next time. Bye.